Tragedy now at a local water tower. A diver inspecting that tank was killed when his air supply was suddenly cut off. A co-worker then jumped into the cold water to try to pull him out of there, but couldn't get to him and had to be rescued himself. WBZ's Ryan Kath is live in Braintree tonight, where there's now an ongoing mission to recover the victim. Ryan? And David, first responders will be here throughout the night in these brutal conditions as they try to recover that worker's body. Tonight, we've learned the victim is from Texas, and sadly, his 14-year-old son was here at the scene on the ground to witness all of this when tragedy unfolded. Tonight in Braintree, a grim and frigid operation for first responders, slowly draining a one million gallon water tank so they can recover a worker's body inside. This is a tragic day. Uh, it's a difficult day uh, for us. Mayor Joe Sullivan says the town hired a Kentucky-based company for an inspection of the tank when something went horribly wrong. The air supply to the diver inside failed. His co-worker watching from above frantically jumped into the 45 degree water to help but was quickly overcome by the element. And I watched uh, as our fire department worked in an incredible fashion with a deep sense of commitment. But with bone chilling winds whipping 70 feet above the ground and water quickly freezing on top of the tower, draining the tank became the safest way to recover the body. We gave our best effort. Um, the second victim. The fire chief commended his crews on the dangerous rescue effort. This gentleman was completely soaked. Uh, he was numb. He was cold. He had no body strength at all. It takes a lot of strength and uh, willpower to lift somebody that can't help themselves. Federal records we reviewed for the company showed only one safety violation in the past decade. Now investigators will try to figure out how an inspection routinely performed so many times around the country suddenly turned tragic. That water tank should be completely drained by some point tomorrow morning. The mayor says there is no threat to the town's drinking water supply. We're live tonight in Braintree. Ryan Kath, WBZ News.